This is the OnePlus 8 Pro and it comes with a nice little case, this little case here. But I've decided to invest in another one. There's nothing wrong with this case but I want one with a stand on it. And this doesn't come with a stand. It's pretty good considering what it is. And it's just a bit of plastic but it's not slippery. It's got a nice little grip to it. Feels a bit slippery at the moment but it does grip quite well. And it does hold the phone quite well. But I have put myself a new one and hopefully it's in here. And it cost me around about £14 to buy. And as always, I will stick a link in the video description so you can go and check it out. This little baby here, sold by a company called Spigen. And it says OnePlus 8 Pro Tough Armour. Have a quick look around the box. Nothing much to see really. Let's get her out to what you're going to get for your money. So it comes with some instructions on how to install it. Looking at that, remove, blah, blah, blah. And what if my kicker came off, which is a little stand. Let's have a quick look. So this little thing on the back here, looks quite nice actually, doesn't it? Gun metal. So that comes out like so, and basically your phone will sit like that. It's not adjustable, it's either in or out, that is it. So you can't tilt it to your desires. So there's nothing on the other side, so that is the instruction. So basically, it should just fit. Looking at that, all you've got to do is push it in. There you go. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? So, yeah. Well, it feels quite nice, actually. So just try this out. Yeah, see? That's what I wanted. So that I don't have to have it like that or I don't have to have keep holding it I can just either have it like that or have it on the stand sitting there like that perfect like I said it's not adjustable but they might bring out one in the future so uh, what do I think yeah I like it I'm going to give it a few days to try it out and see how I get it on the buttons look as though you can easily use them hopefully you still can shall we try it out so that's on uh, this one does volume on the left. Yeah, that works all right. And it's protected as well. And there's your power button, and it does other features as well. So blanks the screen. There's your adjustment for your silent mode and vibration mode only, depending on what you want. Camera fits in there nicely, so you've got all your full function or functionality for your camera. Which should be good. A bit dirty actually. Yeah, and all your little sensors. Yeah, I like it. And it won't scratch it because it's off the ground. Because this is protecting it. So it's up higher. So yeah, first impressions. Yeah, I like it. So what I will do. Got little things on the side there as well. It looks, is that for your mic? I've no idea. How easy is it to get out? It's quite easy. So yeah. I believe that's for your mic, which is nice. Yeah, very good. It fits really nice. It doesn't feel as though it's going to fall out at all. And it's not taking up too much space, neither. It's not much thicker than the actual phone itself. It's easy to get on and off as well, as you can see. Yeah, it's really nice. Nice and sturdy. Oh, I like that. It's a little bit thicker than my phone, but not much. And I like the fact it is really easy to put in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend a few days with it. See how I'll get on with it. And uh, I'll get back to you at the end. I've had this case for a few weeks now. And yes, it is very easy to use. It is not perfect. I'm going to tell you some of the features I like and I'm going to also tell you some of the features I don't like. So for instance, these little rubber buttons here for the plus and minus, I like them, they work fine for me, I have no issues with that. The same on the other side, the on off button and the mute button, I like the way they've done the cut out. Actually I like the design and the fact that it's easy to put in and out. So if I want to take my phone out of the case, which I do sometimes if I put my VR headset on, 
then I need it out of the case and it's quite easy to do. That comes out easy enough. It does feel quite sturdy. It does have a bit of flexibility to it. But when my phone is in there, it is pretty safe. That's not going nowhere. That stays in there. So it does look after it pretty well. The only downside, and is, is only this, is this. This baby here, the little, the little rest for the tilt. It doesn't sit quite at the right angle for me. I prefer it to sit further back. I would prefer if it sat like that, so it'd be the right angle when I'm sitting down and I'm watching YouTube or something else, it would be at the right angle. So that is the only downside. That is not adjustable. It would have been nice if that was adjustable. It would have been perfect, but it's not. So it sits like that, which looks quite nice, but I would like to move it or tilt it further back. So that is my only criticism. But the amount of money I paid, it wasn't a lot of money anyway, so it's not too much. But if they make any further improvements, hopefully they'll improve that so that I can tilt it back further. Apart from that, it's fine. It does what it's supposed to do, and I'm happy with it until I find something a bit better. So uh, with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.